Hello everyone. Now we're gonna start some other members of the solar system of our chapter called stars and the solar system. Okay. So what are other members of solar system? We already discussed here about the stars and the different planets, even satellites also. Now we're gonna discuss about some other members of the solar system like asteroid, meteors. Okay. So there are some other bodies which revolve around the sun, okay, rather than the planet. They are also the member of solar system. Let us learn about such members of the solar system one by one. So here we have the first one called asteroids. So what are asteroids? So there are large gap in between the orbit of the Mars and Jupiter. Okay, suppose here we have the star called sun. Here we have different orbitals where different planets are being revolving. So between these planets, there is a very large gap between them. Okay, there is very large gap. This gap is occupied by large number of small objects that revolve around the sun, but they are not satellite. They are not planet. Okay. They are revolving around the sun, but they are not planet. Okay. They are very small objects called asteroids. They are called as beta asteroids. Okay. The very small object, they revolve around the sun between the gap of planet are called as asteroid. Understood everyone? Asteroids? Yes, asteroid sir. can be seen only through yes, the sir. large telescope only. They can be seen only yes, through sir. the large telescope. Okay. Good. Okay. Sir, are you talking? Yes, beta, I'm talking. Am I not audible? Sir, are you talking? Yes, beta. Sir, you're audible for me. Okay, I think... Sir, we can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Now, see, you can see here, here we have the sun. See, here we have the sun at the center and which is the star. And these are the different, these are the different planet. They revolve around the, around the sun. Okay, these are the planet and they revolve around the sun. So see here, between Mars and Jupiter, this is the gap between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, so in this gap, you can see here many small, small objects, they are revolving. These small objects are nothing but the asteroid. Okay, these small objects, they are revolving between orbits of the planet, okay, or different planet are called as beta asteroid. So these are asteroid. These are asteroids. I hope you understood what are asteroids and they are very small. They yes, can be sir. seen only with the help of telescope, large telescope. <coughs> okay. Next object we have the comets. What are comets? Comets are also the members of our solar system. They are also the member of our solar system. They revolve around the sun in highly elliptical orbit. Okay, they revolve around the sun in highly elliptical orbit like planets also, but they are very small. However, their period of revolution around the sun is usually very long. Their period of revolution is very, very long because their elliptical orbit is very large elliptical shape like this. Okay, so their shape is like this. Okay, their orbit shape is like this. That's why they takes very long period to complete their revolution around the sun. A comet appears generally as a bright heat with the long tail. Okay, as you can see, bright head with the long tail, as you can see here. Okay, see, this is the head part. This is the head part. And this is the tail part. That one is the tail part. This is the tail part. 
this is the head i'm writing a head and this is the tail part okay everyone head and tail these are called as beta comets yes the, sir yeah the length of the tail grows in size as it appear it approaches the sun okay so it still appears very very long okay when it approaches the sun and the tail of the comet is always directed away from the sun it is directed always away from the sun do remember this all are the points very important okay many comets are known to appear periodically one such comet is one of the comet is called beta helis helis comet which appears after nearly every 76 years it appears generally after every 76 years it was last seen in 1986 do remember that particular time after you will add 76 okay after that time you will be able to see that so when 6 plus 6 is 12 8 and 816 and it is 2062 you will be able to see that comet again okay okay everyone yes sir okay, sir okay can you tell when helis comet will be visible again so in 2062 2062 it will be visible again just you have to add 76 year more in 1986 so answer will be 2062 for that okay everyone keep replying yes sir okay <clears throat> so here we have some important points for the comet some people think that comets are messengers of the disaster this is the myth such as war epidemics floods etc but this all are the myth whether they are myth and superstitions appearance of the comet is a natural phenomenon and it appears after every 76 years so this is the natural phenomenon we have no reason to afraid of it so just don't believe on such myth okay next third object of the solar system are meteors and meteorites at night when the sky is very clear and the moon is not there that particular night you may sometime you may sometimes see the bright streaks of the light in the sky as you can see over here most of the time you used to say the falling of star or breaking of star is it most of the time yes, we used sir. to say the breaking of star yes yes so, sir yes yeah, this is the part we are discussing about meteors okay these are commonly known as shooting stars they are commonly known as shooting stars you have to remember that point okay they are called as beta shooting stars okay, sir. yeah although they are not stars they are called as meteors they are not star beta okay they are not star but they are meteors a meteor is usually a small object that occasionally enters the earth atmosphere at that time it has a very high speed due to that high speed the friction due to the atmospheric air heats it up and it glows and evaporates quickly okay that is why the bright streak lasts for a very short time that's why they appears like the breaking of star or shooting of stars okay everyone some meteors are large and so they can reach the earth before they evaporates completely 
so due to the atmospheric pressure or the friction they becomes like very small small and they disappears but if their size of meteor is very large so before going to evaporate completely in atmosphere they falls on the earth surface the body that reaches the earth surface are called as meteoroids okay that remaining part which falls on the earth surface are called as beta meteoroids so i hope you have understood meteor and meteoroids meteor they disappears completely in atmosphere of the earth and if it is not disappears completely then part of it reaches on the earth surface that is called as meteoroids meteoroids helps scientist in investigating the nature of the material from which the solar system was formed so by understanding or knowing the type of material present in meteoroids we can like uh, understand how our atmosphere our solar system our earth our star all the members of solar system how they are formed we can get more information about studying such meteoroids in detail is it yes sir yeah again very important thing about the meteors is meteor shower when the earth across the tail of the comet warms the meteor are seen these are known as meteor shower some meteor showers occurs at the regular interval each year you can find the time of that a particular appearance of that meteor shower okay and you can observe repeatedly every year if it repeated in a year then a scientist Uh, a scientific magazine or the form the internet you can find information about such meteor shower also so this is all about the meteors and meteoroids now we gonna discuss about artificial satellite the fourth part artificial satellites are the man made celestial object they are sent from the earth and fixed in different orbits of the solar system of the earth you must have heard that there are a number of artificial satellite which are orbiting the earth even other planets and our solar system also you might wonder how artificial satellite are different from natural satellite artificial satellites are man made they are launched from the earth surface by the aeronautics and uh, space organization like we have nasa in india we have isro okay they are the you know center for launching such artificial satellites they revolve around the earth much closer than the earth natural satellite like moon india has built and launched several artificial satellite in orbit of the earth even we have sent the mangalyaan okay on mars also aryabhatta was the first indian satellite the artificial satellite just remember aryabhatta was the first indian artificial satellite some other indian satellites are insat okay it gives information about okay like different like weather then uh, uh, positioning that gps system okay there are very use full artificial that we have sent on the orbit of the earth irs then we have kalpana 1 edusat edusat is for the education satellite artificial satellites have many practical appliances okay that phone we are using we are getting the communication system with the help of satellites only they are used for forecasting the weather transmitting the television like television okay then the radio signals also we are used to like locate any like a ship or the plane anywhere on the space or on the ocean with the help of such satellites only 
they are also used for telecommunication like the mobile phone we are using by that electromagnetic radiation it is again with the help of satellites only artificial satellite and remote sensing okay so these are the satellites yes, yes. so see here this is the rf vector okay and these are the different satellite that we have on the space these are launched by isro indian research uh, indian space and research organization so here all about the chapter so here we have completed the chapter called stars and the solar system